Sean Cooper Manning. In the summer of 1992, Cooper Manning arrived at Old Miss to continue the family football tradition. But something just didn't seem right. And I really wasn't 100% at Ole Miss. My right hand was kind of, uh, it had lost some strength. I had some atrophy in my right bicep. So my dad and I flew to the Mayo Clinic, had some, some serious testing, and, and that's when the message started to kind of come, come heavy that uh, my football days were, were not an option. I had uh, what's called congenital narrowing of the spinal canal and, or spinal stenosis. Uh, literally, I played my whole entire career one hit away from being in a wheelchair the rest of my life. It, it, was, a, it was a tough time because he, look, Cool was the one who said, Dad, I want to play college football. I really want to play. It was just hard to sit down and tell your son that, his, his, that, that dream was over and he wasn't going to play any more football. I remember going back to Ole Miss and being out there on like a, a Friday before a game and walking up to practice with my dad and, and I guess um, the coaches had, had told, the, told the team that I wasn't going to be, my football career was over. And uh, I remember some old guys, some seniors, guys that should not have cared about a freshman being really nice, being good to me. I think that even impressed my dad. I think he was a little surprised that these seniors and retro, you know, older guys didn't give a hoot about me. I think what I miss most about football is the guys. And, uh, Not winning or losing or catching touchdowns. It was like the locker room and the bus rides home. That was a good stuff. Cooper Hound and Solway, you know, we talked about that kind of that spirit Cooper has and that, that attitude. It was, he, he really made it easier on, on everyone.